If looks could kill If looks could kill If looks could kill So, Bailey and Adam's relationship actually started at the beginning of mine and Matt's. Officially, the secret love first started when Matt and I introduced our families, but unofficially it started when the two of them started Facebook stalking each other right after Matt and I met. From then it was the long waiting game of will they, won't they, with Matt and I trying to play matchmaker and trying to find excuses to get them together while they were both in and out of relationships with other people. And when the stars finally aligned, they were both single at the same time and finally got together. And we all thought, well, it's about damn time. I'm really proud of my brother. He's always been one of the most caring people that I know. I've seen him at some of the best moments in his life. I've seen him at, uh, shit, a lot of the worst. Um, I truly believe that Bailey has helped him through some really hard times, and you push him to be a better man the whole time, which has been really, really awesome. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. I think that's a really, really deep quote. You know, it's always, who else is out there? That first love feeling is amazing and it goes away. But you can always find another level and keep going. Um, so hey, I want to toast to my baby brother and his new wife, my sister, to a lifetime of blessings and happiness. Let's cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Adam Stone. Bailey, I think you have met the perfect match in Adam. The two of you have a lot of similarities, but also have differences. You balance each other out, support each other, help each other grow, and truly respect and love each other. As parents, Debbie and I have tried to raise our daughters to be strong, independent women. At the same time, we hoped that they would find someone they loved and would want to share their lives with. Adam, we welcomed you into the family a long time ago, but I'm glad tonight you too made it official. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise a glass to La and Bay. I know it's not custom for a bride to give a speech at the wedding, 
But Adam and I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of you for being here. Um, when we thought about like what our wedding would look like, there's a couple of things that were requirements. One, we wanted our dogs here, which they were. <laughs> Two, we wanted it outside, which like we're kind of outside. And three, we wanted all of our closest friends and family here. And for us, family is truly thicker than blood. Um, all of you feel like family to us. <laughs> we love y'all. Can you? <laughs> Can you all hear Adam's, like, grunt cries over here? Okay. Okay. So, we're just, it's just really cool to look around and know that you all feel like family to us, and you all make us feel like we can just be who we are, and that's amazing, and thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm, I might just swing this. All right. We are so lucky that you all are here, and we are so very thankful for all of you. It's a privilege. Thank you. But we love you guys. We love you. We love you. We love you more. Um, Bailey, you saved my life. I know for sure that I would not be the same man I am today if you were not there to show me the way. I was a, a very selfish man, and still am a little, bit, who did not care about himself or the future. You made me want to be a better person so that I could be who you needed and who you deserve. You are the most incredible woman I have ever met. You are determined, strong-willed, stubborn, and intelligent, and a woman who sees the good in everyone. You are selfless and genuine, and I'm sorry it took me so long to see what I was missing out, but on our first real date, I knew right then that you and I were destined to be together. With every day that passes, I am assured that you and I are soulmates. I vow to dedicate my life to you, protect you, and to cherish you every single day because that is what you deserve. I love you. I still remember the day that we first met. I was 16 and you were 17. We sat next to each other at Hops in Wilmington when our siblings, who were dating at the time, had our families meet. I spoke one to two words to you because when I'm nervous, my reaction is to close up. The waitress brought you the wrong side and you were too polite to say anything. You looked to your mom and said, Mom, what should I do? Do I eat this? From that moment, I should have known you'd always need a woman to take care of you. Before I had known what real love felt like, before I knew what marriage meant, I knew you were my future. But there was something about you that I can't put my finger on. Our first dance song, Superposition, might be the only way to explain it. Superposition is a quantum physics term that means placing one thing on another so that they collide. It describes the pull two objects in the world feel until they are inevitably in the same space colliding. Something about you, your presence, and our chemistry together, without speaking words, without knowing each other, created a pull that I felt so strongly. It may have taken a long time, half a decade to be exact, for our energies to finally pull us together, but I would wait all over again knowing that you are my future, you are the one I will start a family with, and you are the one I will spend my last days with. I promise to you my life, 
my love, and everything I have, because from this day forward, we are finally, scientifically, religiously, legally, in superposition with one another. A bond that will never be broken, a love that will never fade, me and you. I love you. Adam and Bailey, having proclaimed love and commitment to one another in the sight of these witnesses and myself, I'm so happy to pronounce you by the power vested in me by the American Marriage Ministries in the state of North Carolina, husband and wife. Adam, you may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure and honor to present Adam and Bailey Stein. Oh, yeah!